like with red circles everywhere. I like the red circles. I'm a huge fan of the red circles. Oh, we got bells. We got bells entangling a dog. Okay, I guess this is gonna be a two in one, I believe. No, they're the same, they're part of the same thing. So you have this. Okay, it's a trumpet. There's a dog sleeping inside of the trumpet and there's bells. Ah, anyways, sorry, that was out of line. Oh, the bell just broke. Oh no, wait, it is a separate ornament. Okay, so this is probably the best sounding bell I've heard all day and maybe all my life. Here we have a straight up boat. I think it's a pirate boat, but I could be wrong. I really like this because there's so much detail. It's a boat. That is a straight up boat. Dang. Snap. Look at all the lines. Like someone made this. And then they were like, I made this. There's so much detail, like the net for capturing people and interrogating other pirates. I like the, the on and off knobs right there to make the boat sail and stuff. Like there's so many strings. Oh, and the life preservers to preserve your life. Maybe it's a buoy or, oh, no, I'm thinking of something else. Okay, sorry, sorry. Um, well, I like the, like, look at, there's like butt cheeks hanging here. Look at this, see that? Like, like little round butts. Oh, it's on both sides too. They're just like hanging up upon the mast. Okay, I really like that. That's like an eight out of 10. What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is so smug. He's like, yeah, I'm better than you. <laughs> right in your eye. This is the kind of guy that has double crossed me before. I can just look it in his face. I hate this guy. He owes me money. Oh, here we have. Aw, look at that. A cute little child angel. Although it, its wings are jetting out of its shoulders, not out of its back. I guess it does need room for this ribbon, but why would you genetically grow wings just so you can tie a ribbon? Wouldn't it be more practical to have the wings not jetting out of your shoulders? And its halo isn't even hovering. What kind of an angel is this? Ow, dang it. This is a lazy angel and an impractical one to, it didn't even wear its Valkyrie boots. That's a terrible type of angel. Where's its shield and sword? Wait, I'm getting carried away. Anyways, ooh, creepy. This is shrouded in mystery. Oh my, oh my gosh. It's two bears that are overjoyed because they're holding flowers and a heart. And they're sitting down too, meaning they're relaxed. You know, when I sit down and feel relaxed, oh, I feel like I'm just happy. And that's probably what those bears are feeling. Okay, here we go. Oh, the horse. I love horses. You know I love horses. I've said it a thousand times, especially in this video. How just how much I like to just like, look at the pretty horsey. Look at it, it's sticking its head through a reef. A reef, why can't I say that right? And why aren't you helping me? So, 2015, interesting. So this is, now what you may not notice is that this is a realistic horse head. You see it's black, endless eyes. That means they're endless. And it's neck, it's neck is thick. Very thick, and it has a mane, okay, see, and a mouth, so that it can eat food, you know. Or maybe you didn't know and you just learned something new. See, that's the joy of looking at horse faces. 
It's not as good as the bird. But this is pretty darn good. Okay. Anyways. Oh, here we have another Eiffel Tower. See, Eiffel Towers are always so traditional when it comes to Christmas. It's probably one of the best Christmas things ever. Santa's like, dang, I like the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Wow, this is so bland. It deserved to break when it fell. Why didn't it break? It even has the, the code on the back. Who would do such a thing? Like, come on, free its soul. It's like, I don't want to be in that store anymore. You don't know what they did to me there. It's like, let's free you, fella. Why are you here? Oh, look, it's the convertible. It's another bird. And its face is messed up. Like someone was like <clears throat> on its face. And I kind of like it. It's, it says character. Like when someone messes up your face, you just can't help but think, wow, I'm a human now. Like people think about me. No one thought of you before your tragedy. But now they do, just like this bird. Look at it. Its face is just slashed. Oh, sorry. Its face is just slashed up. Its beak is missing. Its tail was shattered. To all you birds out there, respect. Nothing but respect. Look at it. It even was impaled in the chest, probably by a rival. And they were fighting over their love, the, the bird that they loved. They were like, she's my Goyle. <laughs> no way. She's mine. <laughs> and stuff like that, you know, and they fight and stuff. And then from the heavens fell this amazing, <laughs> this amazing man. <laughs> I mean, birds, sorry. I'm a little blind right now. It was like, shh. He's like, you know what you must do. And then this thing got power. And then it was like, Sorry, what you just heard was a pine cone exploding on the ground. <laughs> well, and then something must have happened that made the tiny bird run away. See, this bird gave this bird power. And then this bird was united with its one true love, which was this babe and they were like darling i love you and then they lived happily ever after and then his face got messed up <laughs> here we have <laughs> a joyous little kid and this is probably one of the most simple images why? Circle, tree. Circle, tree. Now, okay, now kids, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I am begging you. Repeat after me. Circle, tree. Ah, yes, and the background isn't destroyed. I mean, back of it, not background. This is the background over here, but this is just the back of it, okay? And this is the face, okay? He's happy. I'm begging you. I'm on my knees begging you. Please, say it with me. He's happy because he's in a circle with the tree. And the hanger makes it great, too. So we'll hang him up here. There we go. Here's a strange one. It's basically a cup of ice cream. One of Santa Claus's favorite treats. And one of my favorite treats, too. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's not real, I forgot. Okay. But it's really nice. I like that, I like that. It's, it's good, it's good. 
I will not complain at all, except that I hate it. Ooh, here's an interesting one. Ooh, this makes me feel strange. Get out of here. Get out. Ornaments. So jealous of others that they feel like they gotta hook onto them or something. Bunch of leechers. Anyways. Okay, here we go. Action time. Ready? 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 See, now that's the kind of noise you hear when you're laying in bed and you just suddenly hear the... And then you look outside your window and you see the face. Just the bright red face just staring up at you from below your window and a completely black body just covered in sawdust. <laughs> What happened? Oh yeah, I was reviewing tree items. Okay, here, I mean ornaments. Okay, so next is this flamingo on a beach with shells and electricity lights entangled in the tree. That's a nice one. It's colorful. It's practical and it hangs on the tree like an ornament because it is an ornament. That's good. I like that. That's what we're aiming for. Oh, here's another lady reading a book. It's basically like the others. Switch doesn't do anything. Here's another ornament, but it looks like someone tried to eat this. You know what they're thinking or whoever bit into this was thinking? Like what they were thinking, they're like, it's round like the apple. So I'll take a bite out of this. Idiots. You don't want to be an idiot and eat ornament foam. I know it's sad, but we got to control ourselves. Anyways, just reach into the tree and grab whatever's inside of it. And what we have here is a snowman with a fluffy sweater. Ooh, it has a little bit of junk in the trunk. <laughs> you hear that? That's called curds. Ooh, you can hear it too. Ooh, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, <clears throat> it has a scarf and I like how the scarf is like posable. You can have it here or here. Whoa, it's, it has a nose you could rip it off if you wanted, if you were barbaric, that is. Yeah, I like it. Oh, there's... I like how they put a cheap plastic bead inside of its bell. They could have just had like a circle, but they are like, no, it's gotta be a bell. Let's put a plastic bead in it. It's terrible, but it shows effort. And that's an extra point, two out of 10. Next up, we have another image. This one's a square. And the thing's a square too. <laughs> That's a joke. Just the presence of square. So the kid here is happy, which is good. We don't want him to be sad. If he was sad, then we would be sad. So I like the ribbon though. It's in the shape of a present because it's a square. Remember. Squares are always present. So if you see a square, rip it open. There's something inside for you. That's enough of that. I really like that thing though. It's a good picture. Okay, so here we go. Here we have a self-decorated picture. It's kind of tough to tell what it is. The, the blue is so dark, I can't really tell. Oh. But it's a hanger. I think this is a lady. Ooh! 
Here we have a heart. Santa's heart, no doubt. Look at that. Santa's watching you kids. He's making sure if you're naughty or nice. Always. He's always watching you. He's like, ooh, watch it there. If you don't be careful, I will punish you. Do you want to know why Santa punishes kids? Because he can't trust their parents to do it to them. Instead, Santa's like, You've been terrible parents, and I have to be the one to uphold discipline by giving your children pieces of rock. Here we have a bear with a giant golf ball. It couldn't possibly hit it, but then again, it does have pretty wide hips. And when you have wide hips and you swing your golf club, you're like, and stuff like that. So that can really help when you're playing golf. Here we have, oh, here we go, presents. Again, long rectangle, kind of long rectangle, and square, all wrapped up together, not individually. Who would do that? Why would you just wrap three presents and then wrap those three presents as one present. Are you insane? I'm talking to you, Gina. Here we have golf clubs in a golf bag. It even has a strap. You may be thinking, it's just a strap. No, it's a hanger. <laughs> I'm so giddy. Look at it. Yeah. Okay, next, and what we have here is a fit teddy bear holding a little bird. Obviously, it's ally because it's going to fight bad guys. And if you're going to fight bad guys, you need a sidekick. And this is its little sidekick. It's somewhere. I know you're in here. You're hiding from me. Santa? Yes, the man himself. Santa Claus. <laughs> he sneaks into your house at night to, to take your cookies and drink all your milk. And then he, in hopes that it will help him with his probe problem. <laughs> this Santa in particular has a, a probe and it's completely attached right here. So it's clearly a part of something, but I don't know what it could possibly been a part of to reason with the fact that it's straight up his, it's really weird. Why? Were we going to hang him like this? No. Why does he... Why does he have long eyelashes? Maybe I can just rip it out and just end it. Just give him some... There we go. Just... Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't really make it look better, does it? Okay. Anyways. He's missing the little fuzzball at the end of his hat. I do like that he has a rabbit's tail, though. That is attention to detail. I like his beard. Feels very nice, just fluffy. Good. And if you may notice, this hand seems strangely longer than this stubby hand. And that's because this hand is longer than this stubby hand. This is definitely a contender. Obviously nothing compared to this amazing piece of work. But yeah, this is nothing. This is pathetic. No, I mean, it's a contender. It's good. 
I ripped out that thing that was attached to it. Its belt is a sticker attached to his fabric body. But ultimately, I like it. It's good. It feels good in your hands, you know? When you're like playing with it, it's, it feels good. It makes you, it, it immerses you. We're on the final one. We've looked at everything. We've looked at this whole entire tree. Except for this. <laughs> and this. This is just a straight up golf ball, but it's an ornament because it has a hanger. You know I love them. Bah humball. Wow. <laughs> the Christmas spirit. I can feel it. Like, oh, dimples. Oh, here we have a penguin. This penguin's Maybe it's a bear. I don't know what this is, but it's wearing a scarf and earmuffs, and it was made by this estranged person named Derek. That's weird. Who would do such a thing, you know? If you can find this person, bring him to me. The reward, $5. At this point, we have experienced everything on this tree. Just, sorry, the magnitude. Just take in the journey. This very real journey of going through all the things. Except for this house. This is the one house I didn't do. So this house has a Santa on it. And he's holding mistletoe. He's like, come here, Mrs. Claus. Or maybe he's holding his magic wand to cast spells. That's always good. If you need to cast spells and if you're like wizardry or witches and stuff. But that might be evil. We're finally at the end. Finally. After all these hours. After all these days. We're finally at the amazingness that is the star. Come on. Dang it. No. And here it is. The star. The most bestest thing on the tree. The star. There's nothing on the back. It's just the front because it's always moving forward. It's always going right to you. It's always going to where your heart is, which is forward, not back. Why would it look away and go away from your heart? It's going towards you. It's going towards your soul. It's going towards your feelings. It is the star. And the star is within us within all of us and it goes to the top here <laughs> here we have a golden bird within weird jaggedy circles these are quite strange because it's golden like why I give that a 6 out of 10, the thing that I just threw away. Here we have two cats on a swing. See, this is one of those toy ornaments. See, you can swing them. Oh, they're mice. Something happened. But anyways, I think these are mice or bears. They're definitely mice. They have long, scrawny, malnourished tails. You can see them, right? Yeah tails there and I like the pink sweater on her and I like the blue jacket that he has he has a scarf because he's weak 
and gets cold. She doesn't, clearly, having more durability than he does when it comes to throat warmth. Okay, that's an important thing. Remember that, throat warmth. Because, I mean, if you get frostbite in your neck, trust me, you're not going to be having a Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, I get it. See, there's a story here. There's mistletoe above them. Oh, yeah. These mice are about to make out because there's mistletoe, and that's a rule. It's 1999. Interesting. Oh! Interesting information that I will not tell to you. Anyways, I think that was the last thing. But now, doing a double check. Now we gotta put the star back up. Ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Quick bonus material, because we know you want it. Here's a little bit of a background check, okay? It's past 4.30 a.m. This took a long time to talk about. So a few disclaimers. We're idiots. Top three favorite ornaments for me? Definitely. Number three would have to be the toilet paper roll. This thing just seems so functional and so secure. I just couldn't believe it. Number two would have to be the little cup with a little bit of coffee and the mistletoe for your lips and the reminder sticker to constantly remind you of Christmas 2001. Absolutely amazing. And most of all, I'm sure you already know what my favorite is. Get out of here. My favorite. is this regal parrot. <laughs> he flies forever through the air. He doesn't even need to spread his wings to get some air. <laughs> He's got hair, not feathers. <laughs> okay, it is 5 a.m. It is about time I go to bed. While you're waiting for Santa, you gotta stay asleep. Or he'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't wake up with Santa Pierce, so go to sleep. And being asleep with your eyes open is okay too. Here we have an angel. She's holding an LED. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Look at she's holding a classic Albert Einstein. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Wrong person. That's, uh, who might be? Who's the guy who made light? <laughs> Don't record that. <laughs> Edison. <laughs> I don't know. That's... And that's what confuses me. <laughs> it's Santa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two old people. <laughs> so kids, what's your favorite ornament? My favorite ornament is clams. Clams? Yep. <laughs> Oh my Merry goodness. Christmas. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay.